Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about knowing if someone wrote their own code. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do I know if someone does not write their own code? That is super easy if you are a software developer. It's super super tricky if you don't uh, if you don't know what software is or like if you don't know how to do programming. Um, so usually the way you do it is that you ask the person about the code. An example would be if you have let's say as part of your hiring process you have some type of coding test or something which you should uh, and then you have some type of interview and so forth. The best thing for you is to have another software developer in the room and just ask questions about the code. It's very simple. I've done this many times and uh, sometimes it's actually funny because you sort of you start of you catch people very quickly. Uh, and I've done this for en enough time so I sort of know what questions I will uh, I would like the the nerve points or like, as I like to call them the the pressure points where I know that if I ask you about that specific thing I'm going to learn everything I need to know about you as a software developer uh, within like the frame of this coding test because I know that only someone who really knows what they're doing will have a good answer to those sorts of questions an example would be if I see you in a front-end code test use something like Axios or something else and something that is not the native fetch uh, for, uh, function uh, it's a very good question I ask why would you why do you use this library and the answer that you give me is going to tell me everything I know whether or not you wrote this code yourself or not because there are many times where you know the standard answer for someone who sort of knows what they're doing is that oh I just feel more comfortable using Axios than Fetch I think it's a slightly nicer interface someone who doesn't know anything won't be able to answer that question and I have had people in interviews with 20 years of experience and I asked them this library that you're using to do this thing here can you tell me like why did you use that instead of Fetch or something similar and they literally said no. Like they tried to like sort of well no no actually no. And after a little bit of poking, I actually realized that they have copy pasted this code. They have no idea what it does whatsoever. It could be doing anything, and they don't know. That is how you figure out if someone knows how to write their own code or if they're writing their own code. It's the same thing that I tell people about you cannot be a copy paste coder for anything that is not like completely trivial because most of software development happens within the space of things that are more complicated than things that you can just sort of figure out in Stack Overflow. And so if you're not writing your own code, anybody who writes software for real is going to be able to tell that whenever you are asked about how does this code work, could you explain it? You will never be able to give an answer to what the code is really doing because you're actually not, how do I put this? Like if you knew what you were doing, you wouldn't have to copy paste. But the people who don't know what they're doing, they are copy pasting or having somebody else do it because that is the reality of software development. It is complicated and smart people need to even like smart people need to really um, like work at it and get like a lot of practice in to even understand how it works and so someone who's not willing to put in that work or is in uncap incapable of learning it or like for whatever reason they won't reach that level of understanding it's uh, i mean how do you figure out if somebody can speak an, as a native lang uh, like a language well, you get someone who actually knows how to do it to talk to them. And then you can very quickly figure out if uh, they are only able to say certain things, like set phrases, or if they can like sort of do it freely, like whatever, sort of. Uh, that is probably the best way to figure it out. So what I want you to take away from this is that the way that you, you should figure out if someone can 
is actually writing their own code or not, is to simply ask them a little bit about the code. Like, why did you do this and not that, or this instead of that, etc., etc. Ask them questions about it. And uh, when you hear that they sort of have a reason behind why they did something and did not do something else or so forth you sort of start getting their thought process which is the thing that is most important when you get the thought process you sort of figure out immediately if they know something and in some cases even people who don't know so much about coding will be able to spot this where you ask specific questions about the co about the assignment and the code and then they get very fluffy they don't really they sort of dodge questions or they don't like give very high level answers they can't get into details about anything that is a telltale sign that they don't actually know what they're doing and copy paste coders are like i mean you hear about these people who sort of get into a company and so forth and can make it on three months and like all of these sorts of things right and it is true to a point that under circumstances that are not super common you can get by and sort of scam your way through the thing but that has more to do with that the company that you were, you were working for is a really 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 shitty company in terms of like structuring things and so forth because like it's not that common that a company is so bad at hiring people and doing coding and like setting up a work process where this is sustainable over time there are abs absolute situations where that is the case but it's not the norm usually software companies have at least some idea of whether or not you are producing or like things are sort of working the way they're supposed to be working but i mean not no uh, the it has a long way to go before you have like a good process for all of this so there are still people who sort of get through uh, slip through the cracks but on average just ask people have a software developer ask uh, questions related to the code and you can spot these people very very quickly have a great day